Yo, people, welcome back to Quick Fix. It's a boy now here with my son, Javs. Well, go on, Sonny. <laughs> <You're good. laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm here to look like. Let's see, yes, sir. Get that look there. <laughs> They're not stop this me. Ah, uh, God, yo. Yeah, this, you know I, don't look, I don't look like a beautiful girl. You, you know call it's me your all son. Love. Son. <laughs> son. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, before we get started and before we tell the people then what Quick Fix is all about, tell them who it's brought by. Yes, Quick Fix is brought to you by Pure 24, pure natural supplements designed to enhance the body and mind. They make supplements affordable, effective and easy to use. Visit pure24store.com, their product ship worldwide. You can use our code The Fix for 15% off on all items. The code the fix for 15% off on all items the only gummies you need for a better life quick fix is also brought to you by prison marketing consultants the public relations and media platform catering to the caribbean diaspora ready yes ready so quick fix <laughs> quick fix is our own of the news that we've missed in the week so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it What's first up was Poppy provoked by Jaffra? Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so Jaffra recently dropped a new track titled Provoke in the song. The DJ speaks directly to his nemesis without name calling. However, in an obvious effort at subliminally telling listeners who he's talking about in the song, the DJ included these lyrics. It not hard for kill you, but I don't want to kill you, but I feel like I want to sing it. It not hard for kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to kill you, brother. Beg you, please don't test me. Family. <laughs> <laughs> Never know a key in your idol. <laughs> Send punk for this me and then coward up. <laughs> Let's sing the whole song. Let's sing it. <laughs> Let's sing the whole song, man. Oh, God. <laughs> a few days ago, Jaffras accused Popcorn of an alleged failed intimidation attempt. Jaffras laid out the allegations on his Instagram account, stating, You gonna bleep this? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, Popcorn, don't send no punk for try this, me. Because me and you know that not possible. Baby, shut up, sell punk. <laughs> So, question is, do you think this is meant for Popcorn and will he respond? Of course, this is meant for Popcorn. <laughs> it's so obvious, right? Yeah, can I tell you? <laughs> Usually I'm not for the subs, but this song was nicely done. I, I can't have a girl on it. Yo, Jeffress, big up yourself on this song. Big up Not Nice on the production of this song. Big artist. I like, I like the subtlety of it, but yet still... You know, we know who the target is. Is it me? Even when I'm showing the family, like yeah. them thing that connect for me, is it me? We ask for a song mm -hmm. out of all of this. Like if this are go on, we ask that there be songs and we get a song. Is it me? And the song sound decent. To me, it's like a little warning shot. Mm -hmm. It's a little enticer. Is it me? If you say, yo, if Papi is going to engage. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not so, you know, so blatant as warming <laughs> up, like, warming up, please, like that song there. But yeah. I just want a little sitting and put out there and say, yeah, I don't want to do it, you know, but if I should have to, we will do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, As it goes towards like Papi answering, I've said it before, I'll say it here again. I don't really want to hear Popcorn in this arena because time has proven before, say, yo, yeah, this arena don't look like it meant for him. Even though we did get straight dog out of you know that that whole thing there with him and Alka. As in him distract them when really. Yeah, and the, the whole apology thing with Movada just uh, yeah <laughs> that <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. So I'm not really me personally. I really, really look forward to him entering this arena. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if him have a song in the top though. I would not be surprised, <laughs> especially you know after hearing this mm -hmm. because certain things it cut deep i'm assuming certain things i wonder if jeffra said here when we talk about it and put it in a theme song so, hmm. you see me yeah <laughs> <laughs> Good i don't point. know i don't know but yeah we we'll ask for a song we we'll get a song um as it goes um towards like an actual war between the two of them uh, I don't yeah. know if I'm here for it, but yeah. that song at least sounds decent. So big up Jeffras. Yeah. I'm not sure if more hear a response from Papi, to be honest. That's so true. Like I actually wrote the song 
with Jeffress though mm. and I think it's obviously for popcorn <laughs> even with the punk thing yeah. Jeffress likes a punk he <laughs> said him said just like all me it say we didn't really still punk, punk. <laughs> 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 Same way, so I uh, say I must puppy, but uh, but it's a good song. Yeah. But for era next this track from Popcorn, me that start for feel like them plan it like mm. when they did one for have a little disagreement, so no could I have like a this track for mm. each other. I don't know, but I just prefer if it just him low it this so mm. yeah, you send a message, make puppy get the message, and they will if it this. So. <laughs> Yeah, punk. <laughs> <laughs> I think Papi have bigger worries but in mind, um, especially you know, putting out a, a hit album. I mean, I'm making Billboard one. Billboard. Billboard. <laughs> that should be his primary concern. I right know. Making Billboard one hundred. Yeah. Definitely. All right, let's move on. So, we got an equal equal rights debate. Okay. Want to hear about it? All right, sure. You want to play a little game? No, I'm not yeah. sure what I'm playing. Yeah, for answer though. Oh, God. Like it if one school challenge quiz. All right, cool. <laughs> Which Jamaican artist recorded this? <laughs> <laughs> serious, serious. I remember the YouTuber. <clears throat> <clears throat> Which Jamaican artist recorded the single Equal Rights? <laughs> Narrow. I shot us. Peter Tosh. <laughs> no, you're supposed to say peep. I Shauna. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> oh, After footage from the popular TVJ schools challenge quiz competition surfaced online, showing students incorrectly choosing I Shauna's equal rights as the answer to a question, this sent social media into a frenzy. Then the high school and Wilma's boys squared off on Monday afternoon, and a question from the quiz master quickly went viral after one of the teams answered incorrectly. Which Jamaican artist recorded the single Equal Rights was the question posed to Denby High School. While the accurate response may have been reggae great, Peter Tosh, the youngster seemingly exposed to primarily contemporary music, may have mistakenly identified Aishana as the creator because she too has a controversial song with the same title. The answer sparked a heated debate on social media because the two songs, Substance is entirely paradoxical to each other. Aishana's track, which promotes oral sex on women, is a contradiction to Toshi's composition promoting the need for equality and civil rights amongst humanity. While the quiz creators believe Peter Tosh was accurate, Den Behai's answer was also correct, according to the show's audience. As viewers pointed out on Twitter, she was the more recent singer to release a song with that name. Man, do you think the judges were fair? What do you think? Alwa Gwan, I think <laughs> I almost wonder if they wanted this controversy to happen because <laughs> all the question had to include was a year. That's all. That's all. That's all. The so equal rights in 1977 or mm -hmm. 2000, whatever, mm -hmm. and then there wouldn't be this controversy. So it's almost like somebody involved in the quiz making or the quiz show like it's, oh they thought it would yeah that yo the, people not to sit through them thing you know you have to sit through these things it's almost like they planned it and if it, if they did it it worked to perfection because everybody talking about it is a topic on social media and all these things and the clip is being viral you know what the first thing i thought when i saw the clip was somebody sent to a, a group mm -hmm. i'm involved in a bag of Wilma's man why why Wilmers is that involved? In <laughs> why don't get Wilmers involved? On in <laughs> oh, the lucky side of the Wilmers team, them are because <laughs> that would be worse. <laughs> why? Um, <laughs> as it goes to the actual answer, they're not wrong, of course. They're not wrong. As we say, this is just adding that, making that little tweak to the question, mm -hmm. and then any controversy or is it mistakes would have been cleaned up there. Um, yeah, so they're not wrong. And I found it funny as well seeing say yo, you know, Peter um, Peter Tash song as as you noted in, in, in the story that yeah. it's, it's almost diametrically opposed <laughs> to Aisha. Just another 
thing that Aisha has corrupted with that song. Not only Pepsi and Bag Juice. Ah, corruption. But Peter Tashima is rolling his grave right rolling. now. I, I have no doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Aisha and a G. <laughs> but my question is though, them actually did they get the point? Them I, get think, them the point? I think it was argued um off air and they actually got the point. Yeah, I mean, because bizarre. I mean, whoever reviewed the questions clearly missed out the year. Yeah. So, and you know, and you this can't might blame, further blame piss them. off some Peter Tasha and some reggae purists. Mm-hmm. But I shan't have been the right answer that may be more of a right answer than Peter Tasha because what more relevant or what no. in, in, in terms of the time? Yeah. Is it me? Not to say that Peter Tash song is not relevant now, but what came out closer to now mm-hmm. so that it makes sense it that they would sense. say Aishana, you know it makes yeah. sense that's true yeah moving on all right pp tatash i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> so popcorn and skilly bang were recently featured in a campaign video titled hot step air for drake's new apparel collection called Drake shared a teaser that was shot in Jamaica featuring Popcorn, Skilly Bang, and the Unruly Squad with their quad bikes and motorcycles in the streets of Kingston. In the video, Popcorn rocked the Nocta Nike Hot Step Air Terra Triple White, while Skilly Bang wore the Triple Black version. So, what do you think of the ad, and are we copying the sneaks? Are we gonna get it? I can't buy it. <laughs> can't afford it. Yeah, I can't afford it, and I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't cop it even if I could, cause them gonna look like my speed. To be honest. Um, really? Yeah, them. Like, For jobs, true. You know, my, I, I you was know just gonna speed. say like, yeah, that, yeah, true. Yeah, that look like um, about it. that look like dinosaur feet. No. In a way, kind of look like dinosaur. Like them feet. look. The sneakers look fat. It look. Yeah, it look big. fat and yeah, they're, they're not really my speed that, but. Uh, it's good for see popcorn and skilly bang being involved with this i just a couple months ago uh they did show him love in one of them instagram story them with crocodile teeth mm-hmm. um so yeah i guess that was the precursor to this mm-hmm. and maybe to other projects or collaborations we don't know so the link with him and poppy is there i like the ad and how it seemed very you know, true to the spirit of Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah. I'm sure like is it the streets of Jamaica, it seemed very you know Yardy. About the cult, <laughs> yes. It's of that Yardy in. vibe. Yeah, yeah, it does, it does. So shout out to people involved with this ad, shout out to Popcorn, shout out to Skilly Ben. We got the, the known culture of all Charles. So. <laughs> I'm not copying those sneakers though. I'm not I like the ad. I, I actually don't think the sneakers look bad. I actually oh. like it. But I don't know if it's weird. Mm. Probably would I try it. Because, you know, some you, sneakers... You like do, it, but you would you don't like it for yourself. For myself. Yeah, it, yeah. it probably would look good, you know, small feet. Probably. For you. But, yeah, I don't really... I like the ad, though. Uh, mm. But Skilly Bang kind of look awkward in the ad. Like... Yeah. May I try... I don't know. It just look misplaced. Mm. <laughs> we're not sure, but... Um, it's cool that they're a part of that campaign and bring up to Drake. Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's almost like it was like a cameo or a background. Yeah. You see me? It's like Person you mostly see popcorn, then you see the and annual you hear squad. hear popcorn too, which is key. When yeah. You don't hear Skilly Bang. Skilly Bang just. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> what is there? You see me? <laughs> that was a close up of his face. Yeah. So, him did it. Yeah. Mm. I guess. A quick ad. Yeah, nothing too serious. <laughs> yeah, and face gets shown. It's a good look. Yeah, it's regardless. A good look. Regardless, it is a good look. Yeah. yeah. Alright, and that does it for quick fix, right? Yeah. Quick, so, quick fix today. Quick, quick fix. We never have some big fired person here to yeah, Renzi now nah, come back next week. <laughs> Renzi, don't watch this. <laughs> ah, don't watch it. Yo, Renzi for them, don't show artists. <laughs> ah, you know, it's all love. You know, I'm a love it for you. I'm a love hard, my ladies, and I love it. You, know, I love you better. It. You know, so I do this. You need to show it more, though. I'm going to. I'm going to. Trust mm-hmm. me. Your son? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I quit. 
<laughs> but that's it for quick fix just guys. like that one day <laughs> that's it for quick fix thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe like share and leave a comment down below right, share your thoughts all right